Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I am going to tell you about the best tool for information gathering. The tool that we are going to use today is the inspect is called the inspector three, the inspector tool. So the inspector tool is an open source information gathering tool that is used for record uh, re resonance as well. And it is primarily designed for security researchers like me and you to collect information of a target. So you can get information about so in this there are various functionalities. You can get information of the website, information of a phone number, IP address, email server, also a domain look who's up whose is lookup. Also find the website or IP address location, domain age checker, user agent info, check active services on the resources. You can also find subdomain in this scanner. You can also check an email address if it is working or not. And it can also be used to find IP geolocations, DNS lookup, port scanning, CMS detection, reverse IP lookup. DNS zone transfer and robot.txt scanner. So, if you want to find the information of any target available out there, this tool is the best tool available for you. So, without any wasting any further time, let's get started and how to use this tool. So, in order to access this tool, you have to go to this GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the description, and there are some usage and examples of how to use it so without waste so we have to go on code copy the url of this is it what okay then we have to go to a virtual kali machine and do git clone and paste the url once we have paste the url hit enter and it will clone into this repository let it do a uh, clone into this repository till the meantime we will have a look at the usage of it so over here they have uploaded a various screenshots of it you can have a look and how to use this as well they have given an amazing guide guys how to use the uh, this tool also you can they have given us some example and over here they are using a Perl program a programming language so make sure Perl is installed on your system. I will show you how to install it. And over here they have given how to install on Termix as well as on Linux. Okay. So we I could have copied this directly. But anyways, uh, I have done this uh, in this method. So I will copy the uh, two commands below the git clone. So uh, I hope this it has downloaded till now. Uh, yeah, it has downloaded so I will paste this. I have to go to CD inspector and commod plus X and install the dependency file. Okay, and it will start installing all the things that it ha it is necessary for it to install. So till the time, let it install and I will tell you more info about it. So uh, to install this, we have to copy all the commands that are available here. Even you can install for Windows as well as for Termix if you don't have a uh, any Linux device. So let me uh, go back there and see if has it installed it. Uh, it is still installing guys. Let's wait for a few seconds. Installing this can be a time consuming because this is a heavy tool and the most used tool out there. And believe me guys, this is the best tool out there. And let's have a look at this screenshot over here. So this is uh, so over here the author has given us how to use the tools on screenshot and as you can see this is how this thing will look. Uh, has it installed? No, it is still installing but it will be done. Uh, let's wait for a few another second till that time have a coffee. So the tool has finally been installed. Let's do ls and start the tool. Okay, we are going to do Perl. Uh, 
else will tell us that this is the file we have to run. The inspector dot pl. Though we do the and click on tab. The, uh, sorry, not the the th3 and click on tab. I will hit enter. And as you can see, guys, I will zoom out a little bit for you so that uh, it can be easier for you. I forgot how to zoom out, guys. Sometimes uh, it happens. I will uh, uh, go. I will quit this session. I will again zoom out for you. I will. Uh, sorry, guys. I need to close this tab again and. Uh, Need to go on new terminal. I forgot how to zoom out. Sorry. I will do control shift plus plus for you to zoom in. And I will go to CD downloads where my file is. I will go to C uh, CD document. Sorry. And I will hit tab. I will do ls. ls. I, this is the file that we have to. The inspector will do CD. The 3 inspector. D3. Uh, inspector. I will hit enter. I will do ls. And we have to run this file. Okay. For this, so I'll copy this. I will do Perl paste. So, guys, uh, I did not have to install Perl because this, when we do install.sh, okay, it will install Perl automatically for us. So, no, you know, to use any third party or like any extra step for you if you already have point that's great. So, this is if I click enter, this is how it has been, it will look. The it has been co coded by Mohammad Rahi. A uh, huge shout out to this guy, amazing guy out there. So, uh, this is how the fuel will look. So, over here, we will explore each and every option for you. Before starting this uh, tool, I want to tell you, please do like and subscribe to this channel as it motivates me a lot and I will provide you free contents like this. So, first we will find out an event website information. So, if you look here, they have told us choose an option. So over here we will choose 01. So I will type 01 and I will hit enter. So enter website name. So I will put google.com. Google.com. I will hit enter and it will give me details of google.com. See guys, it has given me so many details. It has to DNS lookup. Who who am I? Everything that is required by a pen tester. It will give you and if you want to track down a scammer who has scammed you, this tool is best. So over here, it has given us the hosting at google.com. It has given us how many visitors it has per day. It has given us the IP address. It has given us the uh, IPv6 address. It has given the real reverse DNS. So the host name as well. Isn't it amazing? The hosting company name, the IP range. The address, the country, the hosting, phone number, everything guys that is necessary. So once you have done or got all this information and you want to quit and try another option, we can hit enter. And if we hit enter, it will go back to the home page. Isn't it amazing? So I will put uh, another, uh, go to another option, which is a phone number. I will do 02, hit enter and I will enter a phone number. So I will put a phone number of Indian police which is plus 9100 and it will try to find me the location and everything. So I will hit enter and wait for it to get executed. It can sometimes take time but that excitement is better for us. Have a coffee set till then. So over here, the uh, the phone number was short uh, because it was a police phone number. So anyways, I will uh, try to start this tool again and I will put a real phone number in this. So wait for me to put a real phone number in it, guys. So I will be putting a phone number uh, over here. Uh, So this is the phone number that I have entered over here. I will hit enter and it will find me information of this phone number. Oh guys, sometimes, uh, oh sorry. Uh, it has to uh, enter phone number without uh, the uh, sorry and without the plus nine or, or the country code. 
so i will do again sometimes this doesn't work it's fine guys uh it does it doesn't work so it's fine because that number may not be valid i am entering a random number but for you it might work so don't get demotivated let's hit enter again and see if it works or else we will go to the next option mm -hmm. Okay guys, it is showing some error. Oh no worries, we'll go to second option. The third option we have to do is find the IP address and email server. So I'll do 03, enter. And I want to find the IP address of any website. So I, uh, for example, this is my website, digitalsecurity.blog. This is my website over here. You can find all amazing coding as well as cybersecurity blogs. I'll let it enter. And let it find some information about the website and I will cross check it. Is that is it correct or is it wrong? Yes, so guys, it has found the MX record for digital the domain name for uh, digital security dot blog see uh, it will sometimes uh, some website have the ms record publicly available i don't have it publicly available so it is not showing me info from it but if there is a scammer or a hacker or an attacker who has scammed you and you want to like you know you want to find and trace him and take your money back this tool can be helpful now if you want to do a domain who is lookup then I will do the 04 option over there and I will hit enter and I will hit the uh, enter the website name so I will do apple.com and it will do the who is looker for this domain ah oh, guys sometimes this tool can give error guys I'm really sorry sorry guys <laughs> Um, I will do 04 again apple.com Zero four again. Hmm. Sometimes it shows error, guys. No worries, guys. So if you want, to, now you go to and look have an option. But this tool will work for you. Don't worry. Sometimes my internet connection is poor. So don't get demotivated. So if you want. To bypass Cloudflare, sometimes there is a Cloudflare uh, block in our website. So you can easily bypass it. Sometimes if I fall, I will put 06 option. I will put DG. I'm over here putting a random website name. Because uh, I don't have a Cloudflare well. But uh, sometimes this happens, you know. Ki, like uh you have been blocked by cloudflare Bo. so in order to bypass it you can use this tool so it will give me my cloudflare ip which is this which is correct it will still give me more information so let's wait for a few seconds So guys, at this, I said, you know, I'm not using a Cloudflare. But if you have a Cloudflare IP that that you need to bypass or a Cloudflare firewall, you can use this option. The next option is a domain age checker. If you want to check how old is a domain, then you can use a 07 option. I will do the 07 option. And I want to check how old is Google.com. Like what's the age of the domain? I will hit enter Google.com. And it will find me the age of this domain. So let wait. Let's wait for it. Sometimes, guys, it does give error. So don't get. You know, frustrated, you have to keep on trying it again and again. No worries, guys. 
if you now we will check if this uh, option like the user agent info is working or not so i will do a uh, zero eight enter user agent i will say apache i'm putting a random option and it will check if it is working or not so it is not working but don't worry it will work then I would uh, credit card pin checker okay so uh, not pin checker it is a pin checker so this 10 option is used to check uh, if the credit card number that is available on a database is it valid or not so you can do the 10th option and check if the credit card uh, pin is valid or not like we have a like a some uh, number on the card so I will not do this option because it is illegal guys please don't do this but if you anyways you want to do it is very easy you have to just enter the credit card a number then you can do a subdomain scanner if you want to find sub subdomain for the website we can do that i will do 11 and i will do of google.com <clears throat> so see guys it has given me all the subdomains of a website so if you are doing website hacking, this is really important. This has given me domain name as well as IP address. Isn't this amazing? All the two subdomains of Google. So I will exit this because I want to show you some options. Then uh, one of the important option is to check email address. If the email address is valid or not. So I will do the 12 option and I will do speak uh, I will enter an email ID. And it will check if it is working or not. So, as you can see, guys, it is a valid email. It is my email that I had created, so it is a valid. So it can check either the email is a valid email or not and the last option i want to check is like what are the active services that are running on a resource so for example i want to check what are the things that are running on a website like yeah uh, is sql working or not i can choose the uh, number nine option i will enter the website for example google.com and i will hit enter so it will do all the ports and services that are running so for example the ftp is closed the ssh is closed the who is closed but the http is open so this is an amazing tool out there for you. I will close this because I don't want to show the entire work. So this is an amazing tool out there. So if you want to, uh, this tool gets on updating as well. So if you want to update it, you know, new functionalities and new features, you have to just click on 40, uh, enter 14 option and it will automatically update the tool. So yeah, as a result, it doesn't have currently any update. So it did not update. So if you enter the 14 option, it will get updated. Okay. So this was all about this tutorial. If you have any questions, do let me know. I'm available 24 by 7. Thank you for watching this video. Do like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.